Here in Ottertail County, we're blessed with over a thousand lakes, which leads to a lot of development around their shores. This increased development can lead to increased runoff, soil erosion, pollutant runoff into the lakes, and it can lead to unswimmable and unfishable lakes. So the East Ottertail Soil and Water has partnered with the West Ottertail Soil and Water and the County of Ottertail to form the shoreline program, and we work to put natives back into the lake scape. Uh, we put natives along shorelines to help reduce erosion, increase pollinator habitat and food sources, and just to put natives back into the landscape. We're here at Buchanan Lake looking at the site that we just put in this year. It's got a really sandy shore and it had some pretty good bank erosion. So we put in, uh, they're called coir logs, right along the water line to help prevent wave action. So to keep that soil in place and eventually the vegetation will grow over it um, and we'll have more of a native natural shoreline. It's been fun to have a planting such as this, just to see all of what comes to visit. The honeybees, which we all know need more plants to visit that are healthy. So it's just been a real treat for me to see the butterflies and the bees enjoying what we've given them. Today we're at a site on Buchanan Lake that was installed in 2017. As you can see behind me, there's a little bit of color, but not very much, being that it is September and our main flower right now is asters. But come spring, in early June, you're going to be seeing a lot more purples and yellows and whites. And when we do these projects, we make sure that you have something blooming from May through October. Many landowners will just do part of their shoreline into a buffer to have that balance between recreation and preservation. The benefits of these native buffers include lake quality. You're on the lake because you love the lake and you want to keep it clean. These buffers do an excellent job of keeping your soil in place, filtering out nutrients. They're beautiful and they provide a wonderful habitat for pollinators. Every year we're doing more and more projects. This trend is catching on and that is super exciting to us because this is gorgeous, it's beautiful, it's natural habitat. It's what was here before all of our lake houses were and it's wonderful that people are getting back to this restoration. If you would like more information on how you can restore your shoreline, please call the East Otter Tail Soil and Water Conservation District.